enjoy. The only way to cure this thing is to drain the blood of a slayer. I want my life to be with you. I don't. <laughs> Buffy's quit the council. She'll not be working with Wesley from now on. Graduation day, the both parts was designed to wrap up a number of things. Buffy leaves the Watcher's Council. I'm not working for them anymore. Willow loses her virginity. Everybody's going through something in this big time of crisis. When we get through this, I'm just gonna go. We also knew that David was leaving the show to do his own show, so we knew that that relationship between him and Buffy had to be wrapped up as well. And we also knew that Charisma was gonna be going with David. Drink me. That was one of our thinner metaphors. That, uh, you know, that was really like, pretty close to the surface. But, you know, those two people, you know, were so much in love that I thought it was a genuinely erotic scene and not, you know, exploitive. Man, I'm gonna miss this. <laughs> Buffy stabbing Faith was a big deal for people. Um, you know, that's a, that's a very harsh place to go. Um, that's a human being, and if, obviously we didn't have her kill her because I didn't want to make Buffy a murderer and because I wasn't going to let go of Eliza Dishko that quickly. I survived the ascension, and then maybe you and I could do some sports-related... W? What? Anya came into the show uh, as a one-shot, as Anyanka, the, de the vengeance demon, uh, in The Wish, episode nine. And we became fascinated by this character who had been a demon for 1,100 years and now was a high school girl and was going through everything she was going through. When I think that something could happen to you, it feels bad inside, like I might vomit. Welcome to the world of romance. Her attachment to Xander, which, you know, he found bewildering. All the demons that walk the earth are tainted are human hybrids like vampires. The ascension means that a human becomes pure demon. My favorite thing to shoot, we had the whole speech from Harry. It's a great opportunity to take the villain and say something that you actually mean. He actually speaks about what the show has been about, what these two shows about, about change, about moving on, about alliances. You know, we see so much going on during that speech. And then, you know, all hell. <laughs> idea of the whole school coming together was thematically a big part of the arc of that season. It's like Buffy had always been a loner, they'd always been outside. Now! Flame units! The idea that all the kids, like an earshot, you know, it's sort of the idea that they all had their own pain. We sort of took that and said, and now they're all gonna band together, they're all gonna fight together. We knew we were gonna have a giant snake that was gonna be built in the CGI house. We knew we were gonna have flaming arrows, because you gotta have flaming arrows. We just knew that it was going to be absolute chaos. We had three and sometimes four cameras working. We had, you know, hundreds of extras. Charisma was particularly nice that day, and she said, can I kill a vampire? And I said, okay, you'll kill a vampire on screen. I'll give it to you. And I said to Alexis, do you want to be a man? Do you want to fight? And he's like, I want to be knocked down in the first three seconds and then sort of lie there helplessly, because I think that'd be funny. Get some help here! Ah! We had about 40 seconds of the school blowing up. We went to town. Every car alarm in Torrance went off, and they're still really angry about it. I ferreted this out of the wreckage. Um, it may not interest you, but... Uh, I'd say you earned it. 